all of our visitors. Good morning to everyone, both watching virtually and everyone in the sanctuary. We are excited to be here per usual. I am Minister Tiffany Jackson here with Minister Sonia Brown. And it is the first Sunday of the month. Hallelujah, yes, let's celebrate that. And Minister Tiffany, it is Pentecost Sunday. I don't know about you, but I am excited yes, about this. This is the day that we celebrate really the birthday of the church. Yes. The day that we celebrate the Holy Spirit desp descending on the saints that were gathered in the upper room, the empowering of the people to do God's work. So I am expecting a fantastic service on today. Absolutely. Glory to God. Absolutely. Hallelujah. You know, and to piggyback off what Minister Brown said about Pentecost Sunday, you know, the day of Pentecost is when the believers received the Holy Spirit. And where would we be without the Holy Spirit? Lord I know I say, mercy. where would we be so many times? But it's so factual. Yes. Where would we be without his Spirit? Spirit, it enables us to do so many things yes. from day to day on a daily basis. Yes. And I just, I thank God for his spirit. I thank God for his spirit too, Minister Tiffany. That is an excellent question. Where would we be? I shudder to think about it, but I'm so glad, like you said, I am so glad that as believers in Jesus Christ, he has given us the gift of the Holy Spirit Absolutely. so that we can do the works that he's called us to do, so we can love people the way we're supposed to, so that we can be empowered to carry out his will and his work. I'm just so thankful for the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You, you and I both. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you and I both. Listen, before we move any further um, in our pre-discussion, I would ask that you all, you know the drill, if you would go ahead and begin to like the service this morning, yes. that you will begin to tag as many people as you can this morning. Tag, 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 begin to share the service. Everyone who is on right now, hit that share button if you're on Facebook. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like, to share, and to subscribe. That part is very important, to subscribe, so that anytime we go live, anytime that we post new content, you'll get an alert. You also want to hit the bell to make sure you get an alert. So subscribe, hit the bell, and like. It's a lot of steps, but you guys can do it. I believe in you. We can do it. Yes, we can do it. I know we can. <laughs> and you know, Minister Tiffany, it's important because this is a part of helping people all across the country, all around the world hear more about the gospel. Absolutely. So when we share, when we subscribe, when we like, it builds up that social media presence so that people across all kind of boundaries can find Wings of Love Ministries and hear the gospel in song and in word. Absolutely. And you know, uh, Minister Brown and I, we just got finished touching on Pentecost a little bit, but we have a video for you guys that goes a little bit more in depth on it. So watch this video and we'll be right back. When God, as man, descended unto us to erase the stain of sin and put an end to wrath, the entire world thrills with hope on this night that gives it a savior. My people, Kneel down and await your deliverance. For Christ has come. The Redeemer is here. May the ardent light of our faith guide us all to the cradle of the infant. As in ancient times a brilliant star guided kings from the east. The King of Kings was born in a humble manger. He has broken every bond. The earth is free 
and heaven is open. He sees a brother where there was only a slave. His love unites those that iron had chained. Who will tell him of our gratitude? For all of us, he is born. For all of us, he suffers and dies. And for all of us, he lives again. My people, stand up. Sing of your deliverance. Shout for joy and sing praise to the Redeemer. This holy night, this night divine, come and praise His name forever. His power and glory evermore proclaim. Okay, guys, so I have my videos mixed up. That was not the Pentecost video. However, it was a very good video that Minister Brown and I would love to talk about. Um, so, you know, in that video, it talks about the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And that is just as important. I would say, I dare to say, even more important yes. um, because if yes. Jesus was never born, Lord, then um, we wouldn't have made it to we the day of Pentecost. Yes. So, um, you know, one thing that I noticed toward the end of the video is that it said, stand up, yes. sing, shout, praise. And to me, that those words are powerful because so many times we sit down we're quiet, we shut down, we don't praise, we don't give our Savior, we don't give our God what he deserves. Yes. And many times that happens even on Sunday mornings. Amen. You know, you hear pastors say, oh, you got to pump and prime the people, or, you know, the praise team, they tell you, stand on your feet with me, lift your hands, shout, open your mouth. They're giving all of these instructions when really um, just at the thought of God sending his son here to yes. be born, to suffer, Glory. to die, Glory. and then to rise again. Yes. Simply for us, we have to make it an individual thing each time. Yes. That should be enough to encourage us on our own yes. to stand up, to shout, Hallelujah. to sing, and to praise. Um, so th that was one of the things, Minister Brown, that stood out in that video to me. Absolutely. I totally agree with that. Um, and I do believe that there are times when we can be so consumed with whatever is going on in our own lives that we allow it to affect our worship. Mm -hmm. We allow it to affect our praise, but that was a powerful reminder, as well as your words, a powerful reminder that regardless of what we are going through, regardless of what it looks like, regardless of the circumstances, our God is worthy to be praised just because of who he is. Absolutely. If he never does another thing for us, he is worthy to be praised. Isn't that right, Cousin Mark? Mm. Glory to God, yes. You Hallelujah. know, that's a great place for you guys to get involved. Why don't you put he's worthy to be praised yes. in the comments? If you are watching virtually, just drop in the comments, interact with us, and put he is worthy to be he praised. If you're in the sanctuary and you believe that he is worthy to be praised, won't you clap your hands yes. in agreement Hallelujah. with us that our God is worthy, worthy to, to be, be praised. praised. Glory to God. God. Amen. I love interaction, so I'll often ask you guys to clap your hands and put a comment. Um, I was trying to see who we had on this morning. I see Sh Sister Shantanique Stafford. Good morning Good morning, you. Shay Shay. And Sister Evelyn Connor Smith. Sister Clara Walker. God bless you. God bless you to the saints coming in today. You still have time to get here. It's Pentecost Sunday. Absolutely. I just believe we are going to have a powerful powerful service on today come on down to the wings of love ministries at 17133 john r just north of mcnichols come and celebrate the precious gift of the holy ghost with us on today amen 
Um, if you're just jumping on, um, I've already encouraged everyone who's been on to like, to share, and to make sure that you are commenting. So go ahead and jump right in. Begin to like, share, and comment if you're on YouTube. Make sure to like, to uh, subscribe, and to hit the bell so that you receive notifications anytime that we post. Now, Minister Alvin Jackson, we're going to go to the video about Pentecost, and we'll be right back. Mr. Tiffany, I love that video right there. I mean, if you didn't feel that video, I don't know what to tell you because Minister Brown and I were sitting here the whole time like, whoo, whoa, wow. Like, yes. you could feel yes. the power behind yes. that video. You truly could. Yes, and what, what a blessing. We were... Saints, a virtual saints, church saints, we were just having this conversation, Minister Tiffany and I, and we were just saying, I wonder what it must have felt like to the saints who were gathered in the upper room when the Holy Spirit descended upon them. That had to be just an awesome experience and to have this power just overtake them. They be, were able to speak in other tongues. People from other countries who were in the area were able to understand what they were saying. It was such a magnificent, magnificent display of the power of God in people. That is just so overwhelming to me. And the fact that we can still experience yes. that same power today yes. is just as magnificent that when we become a part of the body of Christ, when we confess, yes. when we believe yes. that we gain access to that same power. Yes. And the video told us that power will comfort us. Yes. It will teach us. It will empower us. Yes. It will guide us. We have to take possession yes. of that spirit so oh, i'm just oh, so yes. so thankful you know and i hope you guys are thankful you guys have been great per usual but now we're ready to go higher we're ready for uh, the spirit of god to fill this place this Glory morning and I'm we're ready. going to our praise team god bless you i hope you all enjoy the service god bless you come on anybody ready to lift up the name of jesus in this place not just in the sanctuary, all of our virtual saints. Anybody ready to go higher in the presence of the Lord? I came in ready to lift up Jesus on high. I'm not about to worry about whatever had me stressed this week. I'm just ready to give God the praise. So can you just stand on your feet with me as we lift up Jesus in this place? We're just going to go back and just say, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. 
I'm so glad you came to save us. Can you say that with me? Say, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. Said you came, you came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My dead to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. You came, you came from heaven to earth. Show the way from the earth to the cross. My dead you pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Say, Lord, I lift your name. Lord, I lift your name on high. Say, Lord, I lift your name. Lord, I lift your name on high. 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 Lord, I lift your name. Hey, you came. You came from heaven to earth to show, to show the, the way from the earth to the cross. My death, My death to pay. You pay. From the cross to the, the grave. grave. From the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Take me to the top. Say, Lord, I lift your name. Lord, I lift your name on high. Say, Lord, I'm glad. Lord, I'm glad you came to praise I'm so glad you're in my I'm life. I'm so glad you're in my life. And I'm so glad you came to save us. I'm so us. glad you came to save us. Hey, Lord, I lift your name. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I'm glad. I'm so glad you sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my I'm life. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save I'm us. I'm so glad you came to save hey, us. You came. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My dead you pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name. Oh, on high. you came. You came from heaven to earth to show us the way from the earth to the cross. My dead you pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Oh, you came. You came from heaven to earth to show us the way from the earth to the cross. My dead you pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, me and keeping me, Lord. Lord, I lift your name on high. Go on higher, say, Lord. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift. Lord, I lift your name on high. Hallelujah. He came from heaven to earth. To show us the way from the earth to the cross. Our debts. That's the testimony right there. He paid from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, we lift your name on high. Hallelujah. Anybody in here want God to get the glory and would do anything for God to get that glory? So let's just take a minute to lift our hands and worship him in this place. Whatever it is, oh God, that you want me to do, wherever it is, oh God, you want me to go, I would do it just so that you can get the glory. Let your will be done. So come on as we worship him in this place. 
It's a Lord, if I find favor in your sight, Lord, please hear my heart's cry and desperately waiting. To be where you are, I'll cross the hottest desert, I'll travel near or far for your glory. I will do anything just to see you to behold you as my king say lord if i lord, if i find favor, find favor in, in your sight say lord please lord, Hear my heart's Hear cry. My heart's cry. I'm, desperately I'm desperately waiting. Just to be where you just are. To be where you are. I'll cross the hottest desert. The desert. Travel near or far. Travel near or far. Say, Lord, if I. Lord, Find favor in Lord, please, Lord, please hear my heart's cry. I'm desperately waiting just to be where you are. I'll cross the hottest desert. Travel near or far, hey, for your glory. I will do anything. I will do anything just to see you. To behold you as. Say for your glory. I will do 
can use me as you want to use me, oh God. Just to see your wonderful face. church let the church worship the God that woke us up this morning just want to remix it this morning everyone on their feet those of you who would like to come to the altar Minister Baker if you can come up I want to have prayer those of you those of you who have some things that's bothering you some things that's frustrating you, some things that have been piercing your side day in and day out, some things that you've been praying for, that you seem like it's just never changing. If you have a lazy spirit, a lazy praise on your spirit, get rid of it now because God is trying to do something. Allow him to come in. He don't enforce himself into your life. Open your arms to him. Matter of fact, let's change it. Everyone to the altar. Let's pray together as a church body. Get out of your mood that you're in. I feel the spirit in here now. It's a heavy spirit. Tristan, just bag up. Bag up. Minister Baker. Amen. As you make your way. What a week. What a month. What a year we've had. As much glory has been in our presence. Evil is always there. We don't always make the right decisions. Father. Father. Father, 
the only one who can help us today, Lord. Some of us are at wit's end. Lord, there's a dark cloud over us. And Lord, sometimes it seems like there is no light. But Lord, we forget that you said that, you, that we are the light of the world. That you put in us your spirit. But Lord, we need recharging today. Lord, this is Pentecost Sunday. Lord, we ask that the Holy Spirit just reign on this place, Lord. Lord, fill us, Lord, with your spirit. Leave no room for any doubt that you're here. Leave no room that you're still a healer, Lord. That you're still a deliverer, Lord. That you're still a light in dark places, Lord. God, we just ask right now, Lord, that you heal in the name of Jesus. Lord, whether it be physical, whether it be mental, whether it is financial, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, we speak it and believe that you're here. We speak it and know that only you can fix it. Only you can change it. Oh, what wretched men and women are we, Lord. But we know where the glory is. We know who is responsible for our healing. And Lord, right now as we touch and agree, Lord, we are speaking an end to a pandemic. Lord, we're speaking an end to financial crisis. Lord, we're speaking an end to anything that is obstructing our way. Lord, remove the no more school shootings, Lord. We can't take any more. And if Congress won't move, Lord, we need you to move on our behalf. Lord, we can't take any more hurt, Lord. We need you to be that strength. Strengthen our backs up, Lord. Let us speak boldly in this house, Lord. Let us speak boldly in our communities, Lord. Lord, there's so much that we need. There's so much that I can't even utter it, Lord. But you said when I can't utter it, that the Holy Spirit will make utterance for us, Lord. So right now, Lord, we thank you and we praise your name, Lord. And as we go to our seats, let the Spirit utter for us, Lord, what it is that we need. All these things we ask in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord. Jesus, bless your name, Lord. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your name. Life can be heavy, a burden which at times seems unbearable. It's easy to find ourselves overwhelmed, weighed down, or even crushed. Often these struggles come and go, a nuisance, an annoyance, yet sometimes they grab a hold, gripping every aspect of our lives, pulling us down consuming our hope. It's hard to breathe under the weight of our anxieties. It's difficult to move forward when we're anchored to our worries. But God loves us too much to let us stay this way. He wants to replace our anxiety with hope, our fear with courage, our worries with peace, and our burdens with freedom. In moments when life begins to weigh you down, remember this one simple truth. We serve a faithful God, a God who's offered to carry our burdens and asks us to cast all our cares on Him.
Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah is the highest praise. I've learned during the struggles and sorrows and suffering of this pandemic to stir up my own gift. I've learned as your pastor how to encourage myself in the Lord. When I had to come in here preaching to empty pews, I said that the joy of the Lord is my strength. Put this in your memoir. This is a season where you must learn how to be a warrior or winner or a whiner or wimp. Make your mind up. And I have decided in 2022 that I'm going to be a warrior and a winner. And I wonder, am I in this sanctuary? I need somebody to scream, I am a warrior. And I am a winner. Because Jesus is the captain of my salvation. And I don't know about you, I'm going to come and preach, but I come to tell you that I'm not working for victory. I'm working from the victory that I already have. And I want you to know I had the same thinking that Minister Alvin Jackson had today. Let me tell you that the altar will alter things in your life. Clap your hands, saints of God. I'm not talking to the sinners. Prayer changes things. And prayer will change you. Let us prepare to give. Amen. Good prayer, Minister Baker. Amen. I thought you had my other mic, but that's all okay. We'll use what we have. Thank you so much. It's giving time. Thank you so much. For your prayers and your gifts. Amen. For the pastor's uh, birthday. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And certainly. I'm praying for you. Thank you for what you sent in the cash app. Amen. Sister Brown. And that, was, that, was, that was cool. Amen. Brother Brown. That was cool. That, amen. Happy birthday. The little dog singing happy birthday. I like that. Amen. You know, people don't have to be nice, don't have to do anything for you. And I've learned to say thank you when people do something for you. You don't have to have a college degree to say thank you. Amen. God bless your hearts. Give it up for the praise team. Thank you, musicians. Let me say amen. Pastors, some people say, Pastor, don't get angry. I got angry. Amen. Uh, uh, last Sunday, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, let me apologize to those I use H-E-L-L in the wrong context, but some of y'all use worse words than that. <laughs> Amen. But I do know, brothers and sisters, uh, it is time for the church to take a stand against injustice, against police brutality, against oppression. Clap your hands and say we are the light of the world and the salt of the earth. Pray for the sick and shed in. Bless you. Come on, ushers. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Wings of Love Ministries, don't you know the Lord have blessed us to be here 38 years? Church anniversary is coming up. Amen. I don't know what Sister Stafford uh, is going to do, and I'm going to let her use her own creativity and uh, allow God to use her. But I'm just so thankful that y'all allowed this pastor to be your pastor from Jerry Curls to a gray beard. <laughs> but let me tell you something. Amen. Numerically, I am getting old and not ashamed of it. Wait a minute before you clap. But on the inside, I am being renewed spiritually day by day with the energy and enthusiasm and the excitement of the Lord to bring you a relevant word. Amen. Thank you so much. We don't want to be long. 
This is Pentecostal Sunday. That's right. Minister Brown, this is Pentecostal Sunday. How many know that we went to Calvary to get pardon and we go to Pentecost to get power? We need a perpetual Pentecost. You know what a perpetual Pentecost is? A continual Pentecost in today's church. Amen. You know why I know we need a perpetual, a perpetual Pentecost? Because this is how some people look on Sunday. I need y'all to clap your hands and say, I'm not going to leave out of here without being empowered today. I come with great expectation. Amen. Come on, choir. Come on, Dave. Amen. You've been here since you were eight years old, man. Come on. Bring it in. Bring it on today. Amen. This is the first Sunday. Thank you, God, for the first Sunday where we get to take communion. Y'all ready? Did y'all pray? Wait a minute. Amen. We get to take communion. We get to partake of the blood of Jesus and the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hey, you know what, Minister Dave? I need you, if you like, I don't know what y'all rehearsed, but can you squeeze in the blood works? In the name of Jesus, boom, musicians going to play it. <laughs> squeeze it in. Okay, let's hear from my choir. Come on. Let's praise God for our choir. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Can you give God a hand clap of praise? And while you're clapping your hands, can you give God a praise out of your mouth? Hallelujah. This is Pentecostal Sunday. Hallelujah. God is worthy to be praised. If you just don't mind, just lift your voices with me on the way driving to church this morning and a song creeped up in my spirit look where he brought me from look where he brought me from where well, brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light look where he brought me from you don't know how glad i am you don't know how glad i am Woo! Brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Look where he brought me from. Well, save my soul from a burning hell. Yes, he did. Save my soul from a burning hell. Yes, he did. Brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Look where he brought me from. Well, look where he brought me from. Anybody glad for where he brought you? Look where he brought me from. Brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Look where he brought me from. You don't know how glad I am. You don't know how glad I am. Brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Look where he brought me from. Everybody clap your hands. Come on. If you're glad that he brought you out of darkness into the marvelous light. Come on. Well, this is what we come to do this morning. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Everybody, praise the Lord. Clap your hands, everybody. Praise the Lord. 
time. Come on. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is where I need you. Get your mind on Jesus. Say, let's have church. Get your mind on Jesus. 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 Let's have church. Put your mind on Jesus. Let's have church. Put your hands together. Put your feet on the floor. Let the Holy Ghost move to the pulpit to the door. Let's have church. Let's have church. Let's have church. Let's have church. Come on and help me. Let's have church. Let's have church. Let's have church. God's been good. Let's have church. And God's been kind. Let's have church. Let's have church. Let's have church. Let's have church. Clap your hands. Well, come on. That's what we come to do. We come to have church on this Pentecostal Sunday. And even those of you that's watching virtually, come on and clap your hands. I know you know this one. God is a good God. Yes, he is. God is a good God. Yes, he is. Well, God. A good God, yes, he is. God is a good God, yes, he is. 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 I wish I had a way to see it. Yes, he is. 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 Got a feeling, yes, God. Everything is gonna be all right. Oh, I got a feeling. Anybody got a feeling that everything's gonna be all right? Everything's gonna be all right. Oh, Holy Ghost told me, told me everything, everything is gonna be all right. Come on, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost told me, told me everything, everything is gonna be all right. Well, be all right, be all right. Let's go, be all right. Well, Everybody clap your hands. Can y'all say that with me? Everybody clap your hands. Say it with me. Hey, everybody, everybody clap, clap your hands. Hey, everybody clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Well, somebody may not come to praise God this morning. And I want you to look at your neighbor. And tell them, I don't know what you come to do. I don't know what you come tell to do. I don't know what you come to do. I don't know what you come tell to do. Tell them again. I don't know what you come to do. 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 I come to lift him up. 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 I don't 
don't know what you come to do. I 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 come to praise his name. His name. 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 Everybody clap your hands. If you come to praise his name this morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Woo. Glory. Gonna be all right. Be all right. Be all right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, I keep hearing that. And I don't know who this is for. It's gonna be all right. Be all right. Be all right. Can you just look at your neighbor and tell him it's going to be all right? Be all right. Be all right. Be all right. Somebody shout yeah. I can't hear your wings of love. Somebody shout yeah. gonna be all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's gonna Hallelujah. be all right. Thank you, Lord. Just Hallelujah. identify with at least three people. Jesus. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yes. The Trinity. Yes. Just identify with three people. I don't care. Just yes. touch them and you don't even have to touch them if you don't want to, but just point to them and say, it's going to be all right. Just tell them, tell them, tell them. Even all across the aisle, tell them it's going to be all right. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be all right. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Hallelujah. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Hallelujah. I'm grateful for the things that God has done. Being able to wiggle my toes because it's somebody that don't have all their toes. Being able to wiggle my fingers because somebody don't have all their fingers. Being able to look at somebody across the room somebody can't see. Somebody can't hear and being able just to hear the voice of the Lord. The old people in the old church would say, I'm glad to be in the service one more time. Because he didn't have to let me leave. Yeah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And for that reason, for him letting me live one more day, one more second, I want to thank him and tell him that I'm grateful. Is there anybody that's grateful? For all the things that God has done. Yes, Don't fool me, wings of love. I know this is all white Sunday, but how many people thank God for just being alive one more day, one more second, one more minute? I'm grateful for all that God has done. And everything that he's going to do. And you can sing this and we're going to move quickly. Get it? Can you just shout, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Come on, those of you that's watching virtually, wake your neighbors up on the side of you and tell them, I'm grateful. I'm grateful, Hallelujah. I'm grateful for what he's done. I'm grateful for what he's going to do. Ah, and I'm thankful where he's taken me to and where he brought me from. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for that. Hallelujah. Remember when I was catching a bus to church, I'm grateful to have a car. Anybody grateful just for having a car, for just God meeting your every need? Because there's somebody next to you that don't have the things that you have. 
So you should be grateful and thankful for everything that God has done. Hallelujah. Let's fill this room with praise. Let's set the atmosphere. Let's charge the atmosphere this morning. Hallelujah. It says, I am grateful for the things that you have done. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Yes, I'm grateful for the things that you have won. I could go on and on and on about your words. Bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Because I'm grateful, grateful, grateful just now. Gratefulness. Sorry, I forgot that y'all was even sitting here. I'm sorry. It got personal to me. Thank you, Jesus. I am. those of you that's watching virtually hallelujah his gratefulness say it his gratefulness all over this room come on for it to work they all was in the upper room in one accord let's say I am grateful for the things that you have done come on yes Yes, I'm grateful for the victories we won. I could. I could go on and on and on about your words. About your words. Come on. Because, because I'm grateful, grateful, so grateful. Just to praise you, Lord. Come on, flowing from flowing from my heart, my heart. Are the issues are the issues of my heart, my heart. Come on, say it again. Grateful 
faithful he is. Come on. seconds come on the blood that gives me strength hey, there's healing in the blood there's salvation in the blood thank you Jesus there's joy in the blood what can wash away my sins nothing but the blood what can make me whole again? Woo! Nothing but the blood. Somebody shout the blood. Of Jesus. Hallelujah. The blood still works. Hallelujah. Can you look at your neighbor and tell him the blood still works? The blood still Come on, look at him and tell him, neighbor, the blood still works. The blood still works. Hallelujah. It will never lose its power. Come on and clap your hands. Holy Ghost style, sanctified style. Come on. Right here. The blood. The blood still works. The blood. The blood still works. The blood. The blood still works. Come on, the blood still works. The blood still works. Come on, it will never, it will never lose its power. The blood, the blood still works. Come on, say it again. The blood, the blood still works. Come on, you know it. The blood, the blood still works. Hallelujah, the blood still works. 
to bless the work. To bless the work. Come on, sinners. It will never. It will never.
I need you to raise your voice, sis. And say, I plead the blood over my children. I plead the blood over my marriage. I plead the blood over my life. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Come on, Minister Jackson. Thank you, choir. Thank you, musician. What happened that day when the Spirit the arrived, Spirit. when the Holy Spirit came? What happened then? It got loud. Loud enough to be heard all over town. Fire appeared, divided and dispersed to each of them. The outsiders came running and they heard the fire talkers tell of God's mighty works in their own language. Parthians, Medes, Elamites, people from Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, Asia, Phrygia, Pamphylia, Egypt, Libya, Rome, Jews, proselytes, Cretans, and Arabians. The Spirit had come to describe the glory of God in their native tongues through those who followed Christ. These representatives of the world stood astounded but curious, bewildered but ready. Then Peter showed them from the scripture exactly what it meant, revealing God's promise to all who trust in Jesus. And many believed, and many repented, and many were baptized, and many were saved. The Spirit had come. The church was born. Come on, praise God for God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. There is a word from the Lord. God bless you, those who are streaming live. We greet you with love and peace. There is a word from the Lord. I'd like to invite your attention to the New Testament collection of writings, the book of Acts. Chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. To stay with today, which is Pentecostal Sunday. Acts chapter 2. Verses 1 and 2, it reads thusly, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Verse 2, And suddenly, suddenly, there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. Rushing mighty wind. Wind want to place our sermonic spotlight right there. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. Want to tag the text and talk about the wind of God is still blowing. Repeat after me. The wind of God is still blowing blowing. The term wind is a current of air moving at any speed. Also, wind is air in natural motion as that moving horizontally at any velocity along the earth's surface. There are several words concerning wind. One word is gusty. Gusty winds when it starts and stops. Can I ask you a question, those who are streaming live and in-person worship? Are you in a courtship that you have nothing in common? Are you in a relationship that is ruptured? Are you in a friendship that is fractured? Are you starting and stopping? Are you... Back and forth with 
this man and this woman. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you, there are saints in the church that is in the midst of gusty wind. Then, brothers and sisters, there is another type of wind, biting wind. When it is very cold, can I ask you a question since you are here in worship? Is there a void and emptiness on the inside? The praise team begins to lead with praise and worship. The choir sing and it, there's no clapping in your hands, no Padding of your feet, there is no joy in your soul, no peace in your mind. Can I ask you a question, brothers and sisters? Are you experiencing abiding wind? Another type of wind, Mother Taylor, Sister King, is a howling wind. When it makes a loud noise. Can I ask you a question, brothers and sisters? Are you tired, watch this, of loud commotions and noise? It is so sad, brothers and sisters. I do remember a time when music had substance, but that's all you hear now is noise. Loud whips riding up and down the street, shaking your house and your bed. <laughs> Can I talk? My brothers and sisters, how many are sitting here who feel distracted and disturbed because of the com commotion of violence and vice and drive-by shootings and shootings in the nighttime. Can I ask somebody who is sitting here and streaming live, are you experiencing the hurricanes of heartache and it seemed like all hell is breaking loose can I talk to somebody since we are at church do it seem like you are experiencing uh, the tornadoes of trials and troubles and traumas and tribulation well let me tell you why the wind is blowing because God is trying to get you to move in his direction you quiet in here you've been going in the opposite direction and sometime God will send negative winds to draw you back to him oh I got to preach in him I don't know how you feel I I remember when I backslid you can sit there with your holy self if you want to but I thank God and then the rain Job, but tell you, I experienced that kind of wind in my life. But let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, somebody can, can say today, if it ain't one thing, it's another. Can I talk to somebody in here? But though that wind is blowing, you got to learn how to say, Yay, though you slay me. Yay will I trust in you come on all of my appointed time will I oh, wait till my change come Woo, the hot dry climate of Palestine made the winds in the Bible very important to the Hebraic people the winds of this region included cool daytime winds, evening sea breezes bearing the essential of moisture. But wait a minute. With all of that, here comes the hot blast from the desert. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, Jesus said, in this world ye shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Let me tell you why my God cannot allow you to always have 
good time. Somebody going to help me preach. He had to allow the bad times, the hot blast from this modern day death. And when you experience the bad times, then you will appreciate the good times, joy, and pain. It's like sunshine. Y'all help me preach. <laughs> Minister Jack say, DJ Jack, how many know that it go together? God has to send a balance in our life. Uh, the, the dry north wind is the coldest wind in Palestine. Blowing from June, listen closely, until September. Look at somebody and tell them we're in the month of June. Ah, brothers and sisters, let me tell you that God is doing some unusual things in the month of June. I don't want you to take it lightly before September. I need you to look at somebody and tell them God is going to send a, a, a wind that's going to turn your miracle, your mess into a miracle. Oh, y'all ain't going to help me. <laughs> you ought to be clapping your hands because wind will change things. <laughs> Can I get a witness in here? My mother-in-law used to say it's a poor wind that never changed. Today, the Arabs call this wind, Samoon, don't miss this, meaning poison. Ooh, it combined cold winds and heat. Just listen. It causes headache and fever. Can I ask you a question, brothers and sisters? How many? will admit without reservations during this pandemic being locked down. You don't know whether you should go to the store. You, uh, some of you are off your jobs. You're working at home. Can I talk to somebody who, who, who felt like it, 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 it caused you headache? Uh, some who I feel like preaching. Uh, what dying you 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 lost your loved ones <sighs> due to the poison of COVID nineteen. Mm, can I preach it here? Uh, ooh, my brothers and sisters. Uh, not only the dry north wind, but the violent east wind mm -hmm, blows from the desert. I feel in here the anointing. Oh, Minister Brown and Baker and Whitfield. Oh, my brothers and sisters, you better keep your eyes on the east. Because there is prophecy that is taking place in the east. Uh, brothers and sisters, let me pause to tell you that the Antichrist is getting ready. Mm -hmm. The stage is being set. Mm -hmm. I want you to understand that he's coming out of the East. Uh, it's already, already anti-Semitism. They're already against Israel. Brothers and sisters, don't overlook uh, Russia. You better be careful because if China join Russia, we are in trouble. Oh, my brothers and sisters, let me pause to tell you that the war of Armageddon is getting ready to come. Oh, my brothers and sisters, let me tell you, these winds are blowing and this is no time to be playing church. This is no time to be whispering. This is no time to be coming here trying to find a boyfriend and girlfriend. You better make sure it's well with your soul. Oh, I tell you, it's coming. I feel the anointing on me. They're already talking about, watch this, a famine. Mm. 
Uh, they already ha have run out of uh, uh, mm -hmm, formula for babies. Y'all better wake up. Uh, oh, my brothers and sisters, I come to tell you, mm -hmm, not only a famine, but there's pestilence. And you've heard of earthquakes, just had a flood in Florida. Uh, oh, my brothers and sisters, let me tell you, we're coming to a cashless society. Mm -hmm. Look at your credit card, already got a chip on it. Oh, the death of the dollar is coming. I got to preach in here. Somebody need to be clapping your hands because of the wind is blowing, brothers and sisters, but it's not God's wind. God woo, is just trying to get your attention. Listen, brothers and sisters, the Bible in the East wind. Am I too long? This is the wind most often mentioned in Holy Writ. It scorches the grain, Genesis 41, 6, 23, 27. It withered the vine, Ezekiel 17 and 9. Mm. Watch this. A vehement east wind. Blue brothers and sisters towards Jonah in chapter 4, verse 8. I got to preach. These winds are also called winds of the wilderness. Can I talk to somebody who know that in this modern day wilderness winds are blowing? But I tell you there is a city where there be no more cloudy days. There is a city where the streets are paved with gold, where no more winds will be blowing. There is a city where there's always howdy, howdy, and never goodbye. There is a city where every day is Sunday and every month is the month of May. Oh, 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 oh there is a city where there's 12 gates three in the east three in the west three in the south and three in the north meaning 12 gates there is a city where there's a tree for the healing of many nations oh sister Kelly is blind sister love is blind sister Smith but I don't know how you feel about it sister Alex and I can't wait to get to that city where the winds and rains and floods and tornadoes and hurricanes will be no more. That city where he shall wipe away all my tears. No more pain. No more sorrow. No more sickness. And no more death. Oh, my brothers and sisters, the blast, perhaps that struck the home of Joseph's sons, killed them there, was no doubt, and he swam. Yes, yeah, Chanel. And he swam from God, parted the Red Sea. Oh, I feel the anointing. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, in this season, mm -hmm, you better let God. Mm -hmm, uh, watch this turn. Mm -hmm, that's what the Red Sea means. Let God turn mm -hmm, your opposition and your obstacles uh, into opportunities uh, by his omnipotence. Uh, Y'all ain't gonna get it. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, musicians. I need somebody uh, to give God praise uh, because he's getting ready to bring you through mm, in this season. Uh, in 2022, uh, God told me to tell you uh, before 2023 comes, uh, he's getting ready to open up some doors for you. Open up some doors that no man can close. You go close some doors that no man can open. Let me tell you, it was a reason why you left that job because God 
want to open up some things so you can start your own business. Clap your hands for the east wind. Listen. Ooh. Uh, the west. The west wind. Mm -hmm. Drove off uh, the locusts in Egypt. Mm. Exodus 10 and 19. Mm. Let me tell you. Can I talk to somebody? who have some pesty people problem. Shoot fly. Don't bother me. I come to tell you that God is getting ready to move some pesty people. from your life. They've been impeding your progress. Can I get a witness? And so brothers and sisters, don't you try to handle it. Don't you try to get them back because God got your back. You wonder why you're so uncomfortable. You, you, you trying to be with people who are pesty but have no purpose and no plan. I don't know about you. I thank God that in this season, he's putting people in my life that have purpose, significance, importance, and vision, and getting rid of the toxic folk in my life. You ought to clap your hands and say, Lord, blow away the toxic people. Ooh. Listen. Oh. The south wind. Mm. Blue Paul's ship gently mm -hmm. in Acts 27 and 13. Mm. But let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, you got to be careful. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes mm, you can be sailing in life, mm -hmm. money in your pocket, mm -hmm. food in your refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Clothes on your back, job to go to, promotion on that job, roof over your head, boom, shoes on your feet, a whip to drive, oh, it can be smooth, but let me tell you, in order to be able to take it, when the storm comes, Mm -hmm. You better learn how to pray when it's smooth. <laughs> oh, somebody's quiet in here. <laughs> if you learn how to fast <laughs> and pray when it's smooth, <laughs> when the storm comes, <laughs> you'll still be standing. <laughs> Can I talk to somebody <laughs> before I finish this message? <laughs> Give somebody a high five <laughs> when they thought I was going to crumble when they walk out of my life. <laughs> I'm still standing. Sickness have come through my home, but I'm still standing. Death have passed in my home, but I'm still standing. Can I talk to somebody who is a survivor in this church? All survivors scream. Okay, Whew, let me go. Uh, you, you see, uh, the ship preachers, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. it was gentle. But as they continued to sail, Euracla done. Mm -hmm. Well, you can read it in Acts 27 and 14. Euracla done mean, ooh, east wind. Say east wind. Euracla done mean fierce. Oh, Euracla done mean temperance. Why? Because it blows from the northeast and east north. 
earth. I think I ought to tell you, my brothers and sisters, before you leave this earth, you're going to experience an oracular done. Mm. Wait a minute before you leave. Don't let nobody out the door, Mark. <laughs> let me tell you why he sinned. You, you oracular done. You remember Paul had to go to Rome to preach. Let me tell you why he allowed it to come. Because God not only is trying to change your direction, he's trying to push you towards a new destination. Uh, Y'all ain't going to get that. Can I talk to somebody who thank God for the destination in your life? I need somebody to holler out, Lord, lead me, guide me, direct me toward the, the, can I get a witness, the destination that you have and not what I want. Oh, y'all quiet. Ooh, am I too long? Listen, brothers and sisters, God quiets the earth with the south wind. Mm, the Arabs called, watch this, the south wind, Sirocco. <laughs> Listen, winds were used to separate the grain. Grain is the husk of grain, watch this, after separation from the seed. Oh, watch this. Uh, the grain was separated by winnowing. Winnowing means, brothers and sisters, the blowing away. Let me tell you, I got to step down one, two, three. Girl, excuse me for calling you that. Woman, mm, honey, mm, you still trying to hold on to that boy in 2022. And God is trying to separate you from him. He's a man with no plan. He's a man with no goal. He's a man with no ambition. He's a man with no Jesus. I need the women in here who are tired of having a broken heart in this relationship and that relationship. I don't know about you before I go back to the pulpit. I thank God not only for the doors that he opened. Listen, ladies, I thank God for the doors he closed. Because let me tell you something. If he didn't close a door, I wouldn't have Debbie. Oh, y'all quiet if you want to. Did you, come on, you need to talk to me. What are you trying to brag huh, about Debbie? Because any woman can put up with a Negro like me. Oh, y'all quiet. I thank God. She could have left a long time ago. But I thank God for her stick to itness. Y'all ain't hearing me in here. Oh, you ought to clap your hands for Lady J. Point your hand and point your finger rather at her. Tell them if she can persevere, if she can endure, I can. Watch this. I met Lady J. Mm, wind blowing, sister. <laughs> Watch this, sister. Well, I met her. She had a black dog, uh huh. And she didn't say, well, "I need me a man." She didn't say nothing. I said, "Who you walking with?" She said, "Do you see me walking with somebody?" I said, "Oh, I like that feisty woman." Uh, oh, my brothers and sisters, listen. She was alone because she wanna be alone. Uh, see, the problem with you, uh, you can't learn how to love yourself. Uh, I need you to look at a sister and say, "Take yourself out." Uh, buy yourself a dress. Uh, take your own self to the show. Uh, Y'all not talking to me. Uh, if you don't learn how to live with yourself, how you gonna live with somebody else? Can I preach? Listen. Mm, thank you, God, for taking a lot of people out of my life. That really didn't mean me no good. Come on, before I finish, you ought to clap your hands. <laughs> oh, say thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm, for, for separating me from her. <laughs> uh -huh, separating me from him. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, don't get angry with me. <laughs> you got to understand. <laughs> Even there's some family members. That you need to separate from. They still owe you money and still asking you for a loan. Come on. 
Can I get a witness? Ask them for help. Got their health and strength and go work yourself. There's a lot of jobs available. Come on. Look at somebody. Tell them, I love you. As a family member. But sometimes you got to feed them with a long handle spoon. Let me hurry. Let me. Ooh. <laughs> Persons of uncertain faith. Listen. Mm -hmm. I said to be tossed about. Mm, on every wind of doctrine. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you, look at somebody tell them a lot of false cults. The occult. Let me tell you, you ought to know what you believe, who you believe in, and why you believe. Look at somebody tell them. Know what you believe, who you believe in, and why you believe. You can't be coming here on Sunday at 17, 133, John on listening to me and the other preachers and listening to Minister Brown teach Sunday school and then go study with the Jehovah Witnesses. Nothing against them. You need to know mm -hmm, who you believe, why you believe, and what you believe. Okay, let me hurry. Let me hurry. Let me hurry. Mm. Uh, every wind that is blowing in the earth ooh, uh, doesn't mean that it is a wind of God. Uh, look at somebody, tell them there mm -hmm, are satanic winds uh, that is blowing. You don't believe me? Ephesians, go there. Ephesians 2 and 2 says, according to the prince of the power of the air, Satan, the spirit that now worketh, in the children of disobedience. Uh, listen, Brother Thomas, listen, listen, mm -hmm. Brother Hornbuckle. Too many of us blame God for a satanic wind. Don't you know, brothers and sisters, that God has allowed Satan to have the power of the air? Wait a minute. What is that thing? When something happened, a storm come, and they blame God for it. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, God should never be blamed for certain winds. Well, okay, you think I'm making this up. When the wind blow, blew in Job's life, he had to go before God and ask permission. I ain't going to let you point the finger at my God. You need to be clapping your hands and say, if that wind is blowing in my life, it had to get God's permission. You ought to clap your hands and say, all oh, things. It's working together for good to them that love God and call according to his prayer. Let me hurry. However, God can stop. Oh, satanic winds. Wherever and whenever he chooses to do so. How many of y'all remember when Jesus stood up on the boat <laughs> and said, peace, be still. <laughs> oh, y'all quiet in here. You ain't got to wait on the preachers. You ain't got to wait on me. I need you to put your hand on yourself and say, peace, be still. Don't look at my bald head. There's anxiety. There's worry. There's depression. There's stress. There's frustration. Don't look at my bald head. Oh, 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 put your hand on yourself and say, peace. You can do it like that if you want to. Peace be still. Okay. Mm, I believe God has a purpose in allowing Satan to be the prince of the power of the air to show him that he can do nothing without God, giving him the chance and opportunity. Said he can only do so much and go so far. However, Satan is the cause, let me hurry, of racial winds, winds of sexism and classism and communism. Winds of unlawful practices. Winds of political corruption. Winds of social upheaval. Winds of war. Winds of lawlessness and immorality. 
<laughs> winds of murder <laughs> in grocery stores, uh, synagogues, uh, and in schools, uh, winds of domestic terrorism, uh, winds. of dishonesty and underhandedness within every country and nation and city and town. Authority is being abused. Justice is being trampled because it's just us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Rights are being ignored uh, and they're changing the time and the laws. Uh, don't you go to sleep. Uh, you better be aware uh, because they're trying to take away our liberties and freedoms. Uh, and as a result uh, of these winds, uh, the frustrations are causing nervous breakdowns. Uh, the pressures are causing mental disorders. Uh, the problems are causing deep depression. Uh, and the conflicts uh, are causing angry outbursts. Uh, but we don't have to be overcome by these overwhelming atrocities because the wind, wind of God is still blowing. Do y'all hear me? Let me tell you, yeah, the wind of God is the Holy Ghost. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, the Holy Ghost is not the wind, but the Holy Ghost is like the wind. The Holy Ghost has similarities of the wind. Yeah, we have no power, no command to direct the wind. We cannot create the wind because the wind come from God. Do y'all hear me? Yeah. We live in a world of natural wind, satanic wind, but we also live in a world where spiritual winds, the wind of God is still blowing. Oh Lord, oh Lord, Oh, good God Almighty. Oh, oh, the wind, the wind. Oh, the wind of God is still blowing. And I don't see nobody clapping their hands. Do y'all hear me? Yeah. yeah. You cannot. Yeah. Oh, you cannot corner God's wind. You cannot contain God's wind. No man can command God's wind. Listen to what he told Nick. Nicodemus. He said the wind blows where it lifts. In other words, the wind blows wherever he pleases. Do you hear me? That's the way it is about a person who's born again. You don't know where it comes from. You don't know where it's going, but you just know the wind of God gave you all. Put running in your feet, nobody behind you. Oh, 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 oh
Lord clapping in your hands. Can I get a witness? Make you cry. Mm -hmm. When nothing is wrong with you, do you hear me? Oh, make you laugh. When ain't nothing funny, yeah. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? I'm closing here now. But in the second chapter of Acts, verses 1 and 2, it says, when the day of Pentecost, Pentecost is 50, 50 days after the Passover, the Passover. Passover mean Israel had to put blood over the doorpost and when the death angel come riding through Jerusalem all the firstborn of Egypt that didn't have the blood over their doorpost they died but when, when, when the death angel came past the doorpost of the Israelites, the death angel passed over. Did you know why you're sitting here getting high, drinking and hanging out, laying and playing, sipping and nipping, dining and whining, peeping and hiding? But thank God I am that the death angel didn't get me. You can sit there with your sanctified self. I need some people to stand up and praise God that the death angel didn't take you out of here. Yeah. But not only that, passed by the doorpost. That's why we're up this morning. Death didn't come creeping in our room. Do y'all hear me? Yeah. It mean that God brought Israel out of bondage. The bondage and slavery of Egypt. Yeah, I need you to raise your hand and say Satan had, had, oh, oh, hit me down, but I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood. Wash me. I don't see no blood wash people clapping. Oh, thank you. That's what Dave and the choir just got to come over there. Oh, thank you. For the blood. Now, now, Pentecost mean power. Do you hear me? Yeah, my brothers and my sisters. I just told you earlier, we go to Calvary for pardon. But right now, we need Pentecost. Oh! for power. And I need you to lift your hands. Say, Lord, Lord, I'm trying to be quiet to let you do it. Open your mouth. Lord! Do a little louder. Oh, Lord! That's how you gotta do it. Give me power. Come on, clap your hands. Yes. Listen, had fully come, you see, in the Old Testament, 
it come and then it go. But now the Holy Ghost, the wind of God, didn't come upon me like the Old Testament fully come mean that the wind of God, the Holy Ghost, come to stay, remain, and dwell in you. You ought to clap your hands for the dispensation. Come on, church, of the Holy Ghost. Jesus said, I'm going to pray to the Father that he sent you another comforter which will lead and guide and bring all things to your remembrance. Do y'all hear me? Let me hear it. Yeah. When you get the wind of God, yeah, the wind of God can strengthen your marriage. Fellowship can be enhanced by the wind of God. Trial can be endured by the wind of God. Loneliness will be comforted by the wind of God. Burden will be lifted by the wind of God. Heartaches can be healed by the wind of God. Home will be blessed by the wind of God. I need you to clap your hands before we leave John R. And say, I need the wind in my home. Turn my sour marriage into a sweet marriage. Turn my nightmare on Elm Street to the little house on the prairie. Lord, come in my house. You ought to be clapping your hands. Sorrow will be relieved by the wind of God. Let me hurry. First of all, notice the harmony of the saints. They were together waiting in perfect unity and without division and discord, without feuding and fighting. The Bible said they were on one accord. Let me tell you, we we need to get on one accord. Don't look at my bald head. Come on, Sister Lum. Tell Sister Smith. Come on, Sister Lee. Tell Sister Davis. Tell the person adjacent to you. God is tired of an audience. He need an army. Mm, and the only way for us to move from being an audience to an army, we got to get on on a court. The remnant of Jesus followers waited patiently, and suddenly it happened. The wind of God came in, personified in the Holy Ghost. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? The wind is a mystery. The Holy the Spirit is a mystery. The wind is invisible. The Holy Spirit is invisible. You can't see it, but you know when he touch you. Can I talk to somebody who he touched on a Monday? Somebody who he touched on a Tuesday. Come on, Mr. Somebody who he touched on a Wednesday. Somebody who he touched on a Thursday, somebody on a Friday, somebody on a Saturday, but all it, all it, all it, Sunday morning, oh, he touched you, hair stood up on your head, he touched you, you start loving your enemy, y'all too quiet in here, if he you oh show some sign oh show some sign oh show some sign Holy Spirit, like the wind, is powerful. He's sovereign. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? The wind 
is life given yeah the wind let me hurry purifies I was looking at wings of love Lady J and I was talking since the pandemic I heard people say when you open up the church I'm gonna come running in here but I see some people sitting there like God haven't done nothing for you I don't know how you feel when I come off of John and come to church I can't sit still so I had to thank him for watching over me all night long thank him for my health and strength thank him that my children is doing alright thank him for my wife that's doing okay thank him for the wings of love yeah I heard Ezekiel sing can these bones live oh can they live to preach in here. Oh, can they live? I had to look at God and say, you all know. Yeah, but before I leave, before we take communion, I heard God telling Ezekiel, Ezekiel, prophesy to the wind, the four corners, then prophesy to the breath, breath mean, numa, numa means spirit and breath, do y'all hear me, no, mean a blowing, watch this, can I get away, come here Dave, Jones, sit there, I don't want you to move, Sit there. Um, come in here, Baker. Sit next to him. I want you to sit there like you do. Um, there you go, Dave, just like that. And when I look at Dave, Trustee Jones, and Minister Baker, I see dead people dressed up in nice suits. Dead, dressed up in nice dresses. Dead, with a pretty hairdo, even though you bought it, it's yours. Dead, with hips and fingertips. Dead, but watch what happened when the prophet started preaching to the dead bones. All of a sudden, the dead bones began to shake and rattle. I need y'all to move. And I'm telling you, if you start right now, he on John, don't look at me. Right here, 17, 1 through 3, in this sanctuary. I feel it. Come on up, musicians. I see a shaking uh, stand up now they stood up but they had no life in them no spirit in them no wind in them oh when the wind blew the leg bone got connected to the thigh bone when the air blew the thigh bone got connected to the hip bone when they blew the hip bone got connected to the backbone when they blew I see the phalanges I see the femur I see the tibia connecting I prophesy right now God is shaking your pew God is moving in your pew your dead situation is coming alive your life is being changed. Your finances is coming alive. Your health is coming alive. Your man! 
Ghost is coming alive. Your life is coming alive. Your husband is coming alive. Your wife is coming alive. Your children is coming alive. Your health is coming alive. Wings of love is coming alive. Oh, alive. Clap your hands and say, I'm coming alive. Coming alive. Come on. God bless you. You coming alive. Clap your hands and say, Lord, help wings of love to love like we used to. Lord, bring fellowship and communion like we used to have it. Clap your hands. Let me give you this. That with the harmony of the saints, that was a heavenly sound. Jesus. And the house was saturated with the spirit, the wind, the breath of God. Uh, excuse me. Those streaming live. Satan, get out of this house. Strife, get out of this house. Division, get out of this house. Lust, get out of this house. Adultery, Get out of this house. Lion, get out of this house. Fornication, get out of this house. Lord, send a fresh wind. Listen, we need a wind not to cool us, but to change us. Without the wind of God, the door is open. We will remain weak in our faith. Listen, stunted in our growth wings, limited, Sister Brown, that's right, in our abilities, handicapped in our ministries, confused in our circumstance, and defeated in our efforts. I don't know about you. I can't preach with power without the wind. You can't sing, you can't worship. You can't witness. You can look at me. Don't be ashamed. Because God is purifying. He's blowing some stuff. He's blowing off my life. Come on, look at me. Everybody, he's blowing some stuff. Clap your hands. Let me tell you. I don't want to be a, a trumpet or a flute. Watch this, Taylor. This, this, this how you, this the trumpet and the flute. Watch this. The analogy is, nothing happens to the trumpet or the flute until somebody pick it up and blow it. Keep up with me, Tristan. What I see sitting in the pews is that Satan has taken your joy. Don't miss this. You have allowed circumstances, things, and people to steal your joy, excitement, and enthusiasm. You got to wait till I do this. <laughs> now, you don't need all that. That's my joy. I do that with the doors closed. Y'all can be peeking in the window like something wrong with him. I'll be all over the place. <laughs> this is what you got to do this week. Watch mental illness. Be careful. 
I don't care if you're a saint, mental illness will attack anybody. This is what you do this week because I do it every day. I say, Lord, especially when you, before you go to work, you got to deal with some co-workers that you want to fist the cup. You want to, man, you talking about some wind, Pastor. I want to <laughs> give them some wind. Listen, this works. Get down on your knees tonight or tomorrow when you get up and say, Lord, I'm just like that, that, that trumpet. I'm like that flute. I'm an instrument in your hand, and I can't do nothing until you blow in me. Come on, Al. What did you say? No, he didn't say lean, Mark. Breathe. That's the problem. You're leaning too much and not getting any breath. <laughs> That's okay, Mark. You got it. You got it. Listen. <laughs> I'm going to let you come, praise team. Let me tell you, pastor doing this. I made it through the pandemic. We're going to take a minute after they get through. Sin. I made it through the pandemic by asking the Lord every day, breathe on me. He did it to his disciples. He breathed. And tonight, get away before you cut that TV on, before you, uh, you know, they start texting you. Uh, uh, ask God to breathe on. So you're trying to change people, but you need to change yourself. And that's what the win of God do. Win of God change you. Did this message help you? Give God praise. The wind of God is still blowing. Just receive him and welcome him into your life. And he'll change it. All right, praise team. Let's go. Was I too long? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, the door is open. He'll change you, brother, sister. Holy Spirit will change you. Thank you, Brother McGee. Thank you, trustee. Maurice, Miranda. Come on, if you're afraid, I'll walk with you. Come on, he'll change you, man. He'll change you, lady. Who opens the Come on, the door is open. That I cannot see. Jesus will, Jesus will, who will make all my decisions for me, Jesus will, Jesus will. Oh, say Ooh, oh, the that, I that I cannot see Jesus will. Jesus will. Come on, come on. Jesus will. I tried to get you out of here by 12. Come on.
said he will. He said he I will. He'll fight my battle. He'll fight my battle. If I keep still. If I keep still. If I keep still. Give it up for our praise team and musicians. Amen. He'll fight our battles. Hallelujah. When you know the wind is in you, you are able to win the war. I need y'all to look at somebody tell them the church ain't no beauty contest. We in a battle in here. Wouldn't you agree? Hallelujah. Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Tiffany. As I call your name, would you please stand? Pastor Jackson, we have coming as a candidate for baptism, Brother Aon Woods. Come on, stand up here with me. Amen. I, I do believe that you should come because Jesus accepted the children. And they sat up on his knee. Suffer little children come unto me for such is the kingdom. You follow me everywhere I go. That's good. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Do you believe there's a God? Mm, yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> Praise God. We're going to teach you more about Christ, the Holy Spirit, the scriptures. God bless Sister Baker, Sister Allen. Come on, give it up, Sister Baker. Sister Allen used to be teaching our young people. Amen. Minister Baker and Sister Brown teaching them in Sunday. We got to get started back again. Amen. Uh, what do you want to say to the church? Hey, what y'all doing back there? Come on. Mm. Nothing, right? All right, that's good enough. You can come on, I'm going to baptize you. Out of the mouth of babes shall come perfect praise. Okay. Pastor Jackson, we have coming for a prayer, Sister Layla Baker. Would you please stand? Sister Baker is getting ready to go to college. Come on, we can do better than that. Come on. That's how you holler. <laughs> Amen. Within you lies the power to size the hour. The tassel is worth the hassle. You want to be cool, stay in school. I'm proud of you for your aspirations and ambitions. Amen. Uh, so, Vern, we got to get with. Sister Smith, your sister, we got, and I got to give Sister Stokes, we got to get that scholarship. Lady J, uh, something, we got to get it going uh, to help. How many have been in college? Remember, only thing I do, I remember when I was in college, the only thing I can do is buy me a Pepsi and some peanuts. <laughs> and that preferred payment was waiting on you. How many know about loans right now? I'm paying Al's loan right now. <laughs> Bless you, my son. Come on, what do you want to stand up and tell the church? Come on. Let me tell you what she did to me one day, and I, I, we're gonna take. I, I don't want to hold y'all too long. Now, when I dismiss, get out of here. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, watch this. I came in here for a time. I came. Let me tell you, Sister Baker. I came through that door. I'm the pastor of the church, right? I came through this door right here. They were rehearsing. You know, they were dancing. I came through here, you know, with my head up. You know, I came. Hey, how you? Do? Uh, excuse me, Pastor. We are rehearsing. We laugh about that to this day. Come on, stand up. What do you want to tell the church? Okay. Um, 
I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who's helped me so far or sent up a prayer for me or my family. And I just wanted to ask that you guys continue to do that because I got a scholarship to my dream school, but that's not, that's only half the battle. Finishing is the important part. So just continue to help us and pray for us. Come on, give it up for all of our graduates and those who are getting ready to go to college. God bless you. Amen. That's why they, I like that book by, uh, I, I believe it's uh, Woodson Carter, The Miseducation of the Black Negro. We need to be educated. Amen. God bless you. Well, some of us didn't get it, our, our, our parents, but try to educate, try to help, invest. Amen. Guardians and those who have adopted children. Uh, your mom was talking to you, little baker. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm going to pray for you. Come on, baby, stand. Little sister Baker. God, our Father, I lift my hands over this dear daughter. I pray with, that your guidance and direction would be with her. Bless her every endeavor, her every ambition. I pray that you would anoint her goals. Touch her mind. Think with her mind, Lord, when she have to study tough, hard courses. I pray that I will give her clarity and illumination and understanding and help her to persevere and endure. Then protect her from those who are incontinent who would try to violate her. I bind it not be a fence all around her. In the name of Jesus. And when she come out, she's going to give you the glory. And God, we thank you already for the gainful employment. I speak it already in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Now, when you make your money, I may be dead and gone, but uh, if, if I'll be passing somebody, give it to your family and give Wings of Love a substantial donation. Okay? Hmm? It's going to FAMU. FAMU? Florida a Whoa! Come on, Wings. That's a good school. Woo! Look, look. Sister, sister, sister Baker said she's going to Florida AM and Brown. I mean, bro, Baker, like, <laughs> okay, well, God bless. Come on, praise God. That's a HB. That's a black college. Come on, wings of love. Come on, give God praise. I need some folk that got some faith, and we're going to release some full scholarships for your children. Clap your hands. Somebody going to get a... Okay, amen. He said, if you don't take this, you have no part with me. Amen. Tiff, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I don't know why they say don't discipline the children. Children trying to take their parents to court. Amen. Creflo Dollar had to go to jail because he told his daughter, you ain't going to no party. Amen. And then call the police on me. I'm going to tell the police you take them then. But I didn't have to do that with my children. I praise God. Amen. Train up a child in what? When they're old, they won't depart. Look at somebody tell them I got scars that'll tell the story in here. <laughs> praise God. Amen. <laughs> me too, sister. For, for I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Let's do it again. Y'all didn't open mine for me? Okay, wait a minute. Okay, after the same manner also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, thank you, Sister Walker. This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me, for as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Let's drink together. Remember, though it's repetitious, it is still scarred and sacred. Young people know that every time 
you take it. I know our seasoned saints and adults know every time we take it, it's spiritual and it's not physical. <laughs>